This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to another speed build or speed renovating video. Today I'm renovating these um, Brightchester dorm rooms. So I'm renovating the entire building and decorating each of the actual dorm bedrooms. So I hope you guys are excited for that because I know a lot of you guys were asking me to do that after I shared a couple of dorm rooms that I created while I was away at Sims Camp. And yeah, I hope you guys will like the way it turned out. I actually really like the whole structure of these buildings and so I didn't want to change too much of it. So I do change up the roof a little bit and the roof color. I thought this blue was really nice. I saw it on some of like the buildings in the distance and thankfully these dormer windows came in a swatch to match. And I just thought that was just really nice and kind of brightened it up a little bit. And other than that, I do switch up the dormer windows from the ones that I had before and I make a few changes to the windows but as far as like the whole shape of the building it's pretty much the same um I do add that little front piece with the rounded roof I thought that looked really nice and it made two separate balconies I wanted to do something similar on this side but it didn't quite look right so I left this one completely open and I messed with the doors so much I actually ended up cutting a lot of that out because I just could not find the right door and I ended up settling on this one here in just a moment but then I realized later on it had like the mail slot and then I was like maybe that doesn't really make sense so I switched it again later but yeah I just really like the way this all turned out there ends up being four dorm rooms and there's two beds in each of them so it's only eight sims and I think in a dorm building you can have is it 10 roommates and then plus your sim is 11 or is it 10 total including your sim I forget exactly, but I think it's 11. But either way, there's only eight in this one. If you wanted to, you could of course probably squeeze in another room if you wanted to take away from the common area. But I really wanted there to be more of like a common hangout room for your Sims to socialize and get to know each other better. There is technically a living room with the layout it has now, but it was like tucked away on only one side of the building. And then the bathrooms are like right in the center. And I've just felt like that uh, that took up way too much space and didn't really make sense to me. I don't know, I do mess with it for a while and I try to make the bathrooms work, but I do get rid of them and I move the bathrooms to, well, I make two bathrooms instead of just the one giant one. And I have them on both sides of the building. And yeah, there's still unisex bathrooms. There's two toilet stalls in each of them. So there's four total and then six showers in each of them. And so that makes 12 showers. Yeah, it's it's kind of a lot of showers, but you know what? You don't wanna not be able to take a shower when you need to leave for class and you know somebody's using all of the showers. So um, I thought that was all right. And I did decide to not use the wall mounted showers. And this was simply because I wanted your Sims to be able to woohoo in the shower. And so if you don't care about that, then of course you could use the wall mounted ones like it had originally, because of course that's a new item that's coming with the Sims 4 Discovery University. And I'm definitely going to be using them a ton just not in this build. I also don't really like how they're not private at all. I mean, I think living in a dorm building, your privacy is gonna be a little bit limited anyways, especially when it comes to changing. Like I did add a few dividers in some of the rooms, but I mean, you don't have a whole lot of privacy. So hopefully you could at least get that while you're taking a shower. <laughs> and so I use these ones. They're the other showers that come with this pack and I think they're really nice. And I do like that they have the curtain and yeah, basically for the bathrooms, I wanted them to look very clean, simple, and not messy. I wanted them to look like bathrooms you would see in most public settings or like a gym or something. I felt like that made the most sense and I wanted to leave all of the clutter and mess for the actual dorm rooms themselves. And I do clutter them up a ton. I did play test this build for quite a while and everything seemed to work fine. I did find a few issues, but I seem to be able to fix them. So hopefully you guys won't run into any issues, but I'm definitely going to be doing more dorm rooms in the future and I'll probably just do them with this layout. I don't know, I might do another dorm building eventually. I'm not exactly sure because I just got this pack and this is the first thing I'm doing at my house with all of the items accessible to me. And so I still need to play around with, you know, just different style ideas and how things look together. I feel like it always takes me a while to figure out the style that I wanna go for. Do you guys ever feel that when you get like a brand new pack and it takes you a while to get in the groove of using the items? I definitely feel that way. So 
we will see how it evolves over time but i'm definitely excited to build more like off-campus housing and just building in this world in general because it's so pretty and like I love the style and everything. I'm completely obsessed. Um, but here you can see I'm just copying over the bathroom to the other side. I do actually make it a little bit bigger because the bedrooms were lopsided and the bedrooms are a little bit big. I did think about splitting them into two smaller rooms like each of them, but then I thought they'd be too small. But as I was decorating them, I didn't feel like they were too big at all. Like I almost felt like I was running out of space at certain points because by the time you get the bed in there, you get a desk and like a mini fridge and a dresser space and then you add clutter for like their personality or hobbies and stuff. I just felt like I was running out of space quickly. So I'm happy that I ended up making them pretty big. Um, but here you can see I'm starting to decorate the common area. So like I mentioned, there's this living room. There's also an entryway that's for the... Uh, escalator no elevator <laughs> it's not an escalator Don um, so the elevator is going to be in the entryway there's also a chess table I fiddled around with like a few different seating ideas in that room but I felt like a chess table was kind of nice and plus there's a skylight right above it so as soon as you come into the building it like looks really pretty and it's all lit up there's a couple of bookcases in there and it's just more of like a quiet spot and then the balconies too have some like seating areas so your sims can go out there and study if they prefer to be outside or read or whatever the case may be, I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then I also end up putting a ping pong table in here. So you could play ping pong or juice pong, depending on how you wanna play that. And basically what I wanted to do was not add too many activities because I did think about including like a little kitchenette area, but the Sims team really wanted your Sims to actually go and explore and discover university. And so part of that is actually exploring around the campus and going to the common area. So not just living in dorms and only ever talking to your roommates. And so that was, I think the re like main reason for not allowing us to put stoves in dorm rooms. At first I was like, why would we not be able to do that? I've never lived in a dorm, so I don't know if it's really that common. I've been to one kind of dorm building where my friend lived and they had a common kitchen that had like a stove and a refrigerator so they could use that. Um, but I think I've been to other ones that didn't have that. I don't know. So like I said, I've never lived in one, so I can't exactly say. So I decided to put vending machines instead. And so I thought that was kind of cool. And then, yeah, I just wanted to add a few activities so you guys weren't bored while playing here and you had places to socialize with your roommates, but you still feel like you have to go explore the rest of the campus and the other buildings to find other entertainment so hopefully that makes sense but yeah I really like the common area it takes me a while to get it all sorted but I wanted it to be very Brightchester themed so I tried to use a lot of green and I used the school themed banners and different decorations to try to make it look school spirited I also use a couple of these jerseys that came from kids room I believe and I thought that green and yellow one was perfect I unfortunately couldn't find another one that was green and yellow I think maybe there was another one but it had like a weird colored frame and I didn't think it would match the rest of the building. I can't exactly remember, but I thought those ones worked and yeah, it's a nice little hangout area and I did play test this. It totally works. My Sims were able to play ping pong and sit on the couches and watch TV and just socialize and hang out and have a lot of fun. And then as for the hallways, I put up a bunch of bulletin boards. I use some from the debug menu that came from City Living so you can actually put notes on there because one of the features with discovery university and living in dorm rooms i think your roommates can leave you notes but they like are on the floor and they're not on the desk or there's not a specific bulletin board that came with this pack and so i wanted there to be something like that and plus it gives you information on what's going on in san Myshuno if you want to travel to the city and go to a festival or the flea market or something and yeah, it totally works just as the same as having them in the apartment buildings. And then other than that, I use some of the decorative bulletin boards. I also use one of the new chalkboards that came with Discovery University. It has some like sports related stuff on it. And I think it's supposed to be like for maybe a bar or something. Most of them do have swatches that show like food and drinks, but this one has like sports stuff. And so I was thinking that it would be more like saying when the next main sporting event is going to be, or maybe it has like practice schedules or any sports related information I figured would be on the boards. And I thought they looked nice, but here you can see I am decorating the entryway. Like I said, I struggled with this area so much and also with the colors of the curtains and like the couches. 
I was really having trouble finding the right color swatches because I wanted them to be green and yellow to go with the whole Brightchester theme, but I felt like the curtains were more of a muted color. And the first color I was using, I ended up deciding that was too blue or more on like the turquoise side of green. So it was a whole big process and I try a few different ideas, but like I said, I do end up putting the chess table in the entryway. I also end up using this kind of banner display that we got with the pack too. And I did think about putting a couple of plants, but I just did not feel like that suited a dorm building. I don't know who would take care of them. I'm sure that there's people that work here, you know, that go around and make sure that the kids are okay and they're not destroying the place. And I'm sure there's like, what is it called? Like the resident advisor is the one that's supposed to take care of the dorm building. They like live in the dorm. And this is purely from watching Son-in-Law <laughs> as like a kid growing up. That was one of my favorite movies. And I don't know if that's realistic. Yeah, I'm probably not the best person to talk about dorm buildings because I never lived in one. By the time I went to college and university, I was in my, I think I was like 23 by the time I started going to community college. And yeah, I was not living on campus. And then I went to a university later and still did not live on campus. I've always lived in like a house or, you know, something else. So never had that experience. But anyways, I think that's basically it for the hallways. And I did want to fill in like the awkward space on either side of the doors with these faux pillars. And I used the new brick that came with the pack too. And I thought that looked really nice. They do look kind of weird in cutaway mode, but when the walls are up, I think they look really nice. So if they do bother you, of course you can get rid of them. I do put them also in the bedrooms. So hopefully you guys do like the way they look, but yeah, I just felt like I needed some extra detail because I did want to leave like the walls in the bedrooms pretty plain and simple because I wanted the main structure of this dorm to look like, you know, very neutral, like it's supposed to be a dorm and then add all of the personality with the furniture and like decorations. So hopefully that makes sense. But this first dorm room that I'm decorating is going to be for two students. All of the rooms have two beds. I did think for a moment about adding three beds in one of the rooms, but it just felt so overcrowded. But like I said, I think the limit is like 10 or 11 Sims in a dorm room. So if you really wanted to, um, you could make the rooms a little bit more cramped and add a couple more beds. But this way, it's a little bit more, a little bit more space. Um, but yeah, this area is for a Sim who loves science and space. And so they're really into like rockets and that type of technology. Maybe they were wanting to go to Foxbury because I think that's the main school for like science and technology and like engineering, but they went to Brychester maybe for some other reason, or maybe their parents want them to study something else. And that was offered at Brychester. I think both of the schools actually offer the same classes, but the only difference is the uh, distinguished degrees. So all of the classes that are offered are all the same, but like Brychester has, I think more arts and humanities, and then Foxbury has more of the sciences that are the distinguished degrees. So, and I think they give you more levels, like, like a higher increase in your job. Like I think maybe you start at like a higher level or you get more benefits in your career if you go get a distinguished degree. Like I said, I rush through gameplay, so I still have a lot to learn about that, but I don't do a lot of gameplay anyway, so I don't think you guys are probably here to learn about it, but either way, so yeah, this room has a, half of the room is for a student who loves science, and then the other half is for an athlete. I really tried to make each of these students different, and I wanted the like roommates to be quite opposite to one another, because I feel like that's probably really common for you to actually not have much in common um, right away anyways with your roommates or have very different personalities. You can have different backgrounds and those types of things. And so I wanted basically each of these rooms to be almost opposite of one another. And yeah, I really like the way this room turned out. I think it's a lot of fun and oh my God, I loved using this bookcase that came with this pack. I love how worn down it looks and how it has stickers on, it has so much character. Like, I feel like the only thing that is really missing for me is more things that are messy. Like I was really wanting more rundown furniture and more hand-me-down looking items. And somebody pointed out in the comments of one of my videos from Sims Camp, I forget exactly who said it or which video it was on, but basically the idea was getting beds that had like mismatched 
pillows or comforters or the beds were just messy in general with like homework on them. I thought that was an amazing idea and I mentioned something about that on Twitter and a lot of people were saying that in previous Sims games that the Sims would have to actually make their bed. I personally would love that because I like my Sims to do chores and like everyday things that we have to do in real life. I really like like that realistic gameplay aspect and so I don't know if that's something that a lot of people would like or at least having the option to do something like that I think would be really cool and then maybe being able to edit that in settings possibly. I'm not sure if that would be possible, but either way, I thought that was a really cool idea and I'd never really thought about that before. And I would just, even if we couldn't have the ability to have just messy beds and then have our Sims make them, but if they just came as like a few messy swatches where the comforter was like pulled over and the pillow was all askew and like, you know, they just didn't really match perfectly. I think that would be so nice. But anyways, I'm moving on to the next bedroom and I actually forgot to finish the desk for the sport, <laughs> the sport student side. And so none of the items are placed where I wanted to. So I go back later on when I remembered that I never finished it. But here in this room, I wanted this student on this half to be very messy, very girly and into makeup and yeah, they're just very messy. So I had a ton of clutter and like makeup and just posters and I have this floor mess that came from parenthood and I just wanted it to look as cluttered and messy as I possibly could. And I really like this idea. So I'm thinking that maybe this student wants to be like a pop star or something when they get older. So they wanted to go to Brychester because this is an art school and they're hoping that they can, I don't know, is there a performing arts degree? I'm not sure, but I know there's like an art history major. So I'm sure she could find something, but um, yeah, I just wanted her to be really into music and mess and clutter. And I just love this idea, but you may see that there is another bed in here. So this is one of the rooms that I was thinking about having three students in and it just did not work in my opinion, but the student opposite to the messy side is going to be the complete opposite. They're very studious and I was thinking that they were on some sort of, I was thinking like the school yearbook or some sort of like school related activity. Like they're really involved with, what would you call that? I am so out of touch with going to school that I cannot like think of words. I'm also kind of sick and I feel like my brain is not working correctly. So forgive me if I'm forgetting like every word possible, <laughs> but I don't think that's really new. But yeah, I did think that they maybe did like student council or the yearbook, something along those lines and they're very neat and tidy. So I kind of struggled with decorating their side because I, I struggle with making that kind of style come together and look nice, but I think it actually turns out really good because I end up finding these framed like newspaper clippings that I think came from City Living and I put that above their desk and yeah, I was thinking that maybe that was something that they were featured in like the school newspaper or something and they framed it because they're super proud and I kept their furniture more on the neutral side. I think I add a little bit more color because it just felt so bland. And so I think I used some like pops of red because that matched the bed that I used on this side. And then I also used this bookcase and I wasn't sure if I wanted to because I felt like it looked almost a little bit too messy, even though I don't think it's really messy at all. But for the style that I was going for for this half of the room, I did feel like maybe it was a little bit messy but I think it all comes together really nice. I also thought about using that plaque with the apple, but I think that's a plaque for teachers. And so I don't end up keeping it, but I do end up using um, the board from Parenthood because I wanted to use a bulletin board and I wanted to use the one that came with Discover University, but it had too many like stickers and like decorations on it. And I wanted something that looked more simpler. And so the parenthood board worked really nicely because it still looks like a whiteout board where you'd be able to keep track of things and like write a schedule, but it's not messy unless you want to make it messy. Cause of course you could add like post-it notes and stuff to it. And so I thought that looked really good. And I just love how they're completely opposite to one another. And I loved using the apple clock because I feel like this student probably just wants to be a teacher or something. And they're really just into into school and they're very studious and neat and tidy like I said and so I love it I think it's such a, like a cool idea and I love how contrasting the roommates are and yeah I think I did that in every single room I don't think any of the rooms has two people that are very similar I was thinking 
I think it was with the next room. I was thinking about making two students that were into art, but I end up doing one art student and then the other one. I forget exactly what I did, but we'll see that in just a moment. But this half of the room has basically came together. I'm just finding a poster to put over here. I was trying to find posters that didn't look messy, but I still wanted it to feel personalized and you know, like somebody lives there. And I am copying over the same curtains throughout the rooms. And that just goes along with the idea that I had with making it look like the structure was a dorm room, but the personality is with, is with the furniture. But yeah, this is the room that I was planning on making the two students really into art. And I was thinking that these two students do actually get along together really well, but I do end up making one of them into, I think it was video games. Yeah, video games and then art for the other half. And I love the way their room turns out. It's probably the most colorful room because I wanted to make the video game person really colorful. And so I think I stick to mostly green. And I think I've done that quite a bit lately when I've gone for video game themed for, or themes for decorations. I did an apartment for a YouTuber who was like a gamer YouTuber. And I went very green and like minty in that apartment. But this one's more like a true green color, but you'll see that in just a second. But here I wanted to add some art supplies. So they have an easel and some paints and stuff. And even off camera, I add that paint decoration that we got from City Living that has like the few uh, paint buckets and the paintbrush. And so I thought that was pretty nice. And I think each of the rooms do have a mini fridge if I remember correctly. But I think they only have one because I felt like two was too repetitive, even though probably in real life, it'd be more re realistic to have your own mini fridge to store your own food in. But we can pretend that each of these roommates are very nice to one another and they share the mini fridges or someone just doesn't have one and the other one just yeah, has their own. I don't know. But um, yeah, here you can see I'm just adding some decorations that are more video game related. I think in this room more than any of the other ones, I hopped back and forth between the two sides quite a bit. And yeah, I think I just added a lot of personality and you will notice I'm not using the OMSP shelf because it broke in the patch. Thankfully, it's been fixed now. I just saw that on Twitter as I'm doing this voiceover. So thank goodness because I had built so long without the OMSP shelf and now that I've found it, it is just it just makes your building life so much easier. And every once in a while I'll get comments saying, oh, you should build without it as like a challenge. I think I probably have like 250 videos without using it. So I don't think it would be a challenge. And usually when I update my game and I forget to put any mods back in my mods folder, then I'll like do a build without it. So every once in a while I'll have a build without the OMSP shelf. So I don't really think it's a challenge. It's just the best tool ever. <laughs> it's like, I, yeah, I love the OMSP shelf. It's my favorite piece of custom content that I've ever downloaded. Probably that and MC Command Center are my two favorites. I always hear about people using the UI cheats. I've never downloaded that, but that's definitely something I wanna check out because I think everybody uses it. So yeah, it's gotta be awesome. But here I'm just adding some more clutter and decorations. Something I was pretty disappointed with about this pack is not getting any new backpacks or new recolors of the current backpacks that we had in game because i really like the backpack that we have i think it's super cute but it only comes in what like four or five swatches so you end up repeating yourself especially in a build like this where there's only so many you know th there's like only five options and there's like eight beds so <laughs> you're gonna repeat yourself if you want to have each of the students have their own backpack as decorations so i wish we would have got more swatches or a new backpack i would have loved to seen like the backpack that we have from the floor mess from parenthood i would have loved to seen that backpack i was just thrown on the ground but without all of the other stuff with it that would be really cool i think that would be nice because i love the floor clutter but Sometimes having that much mess doesn't always work for certain builds. And so just having like single pieces of mess, like some open books or I don't know, like a shoe or something would be really cool. But anyways, moving on to this bedroom. So I decided to decorate this half of the room for a music student. So this student really loves, I think probably more like rock music is what I was trying to like portray with the decorations. And I thought like the certain school items that I chose and the guitar and the amps and stuff, I thought that worked really nicely for the look I was wanting to go for. In here, I used the locker bookcases again. 
I am so obsessed with them. I think every swatch looks so good. Like this one is not as worn as the other one that I used. It's more like clean and like freshly painted looking, but it's still like, I don't know, it looks really cool. It's one of my favorite items I think that came in like this whole pack. But then on this side of the room, so this is going to be just for a regular student. At first I was trying to think of a theme, but then I thought it would be better maybe to decorate a side for a student that maybe doesn't have like a specific interest because I know a lot of people go to college and universities and they have no idea what they want to major in. They're not really sure what like their main focus is going to be. So they're trying to find themselves. And I think that's a huge part of university and you know that whole time period in your life so it took me a while to get this side figured out and I end up repeating the same I think bed swatch is one of the other rooms so you'll see in the screenshots that I switched up the other room to match the color scheme that I was going for and I leave this bed on this side I do give them a little bit of clutter it's mostly with like books and stuff and they do have their own desk space I give them a bicycle a basketball and then I put some like clothes on the floor and I tried to make it just look general and neutral and i think it definitely does i feel like any sim could stay in this particular dorm room on this side so yeah hopefully you guys have seen something for possibly one of your sims i haven't covered i think every student type obviously but i'm looking forward to doing more in the future so if you guys have any ideas definitely let me know but we are coming up on the screenshot so i did want to say thank you to ea for providing me an early access copy so i could make this video for you guys and thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and i'll talk to you guys soon bye